Hello, hello. Welcome to Cat's Treasure Hunting. I am Cat, and today we are in Williston, Florida. We are at the Women's Club. My aunt is a member here, and she tagged me in a post, told me they were having a flea market today. I came to this about two years ago. There was a lot more stuff. There was stuff outside today. I don't see anything outside, so it's all inside, but I'm super excited to go in and see what we can find. So the last time I was here, this whole sidewalk was filled with stuff. So I'm not sure exactly what to expect. They do have a few things outside here. The little exercise bike and the wagon. This bag has some snorkel gear. Some of it can be expensive, but it looks like there's duct tape on that. So I will probably pass that one up. And then here, it looks like they have a bunch of jewelry. Look at this really pretty little dichroic glass pendant. I love the swirl on that, so I think I will get that one. Let's see if we see anything else. And this one's a little pottery piece. I absolutely love that with the dove and the sun. So I think we will get that one as well. I don't find a ton of jewelry at sales. I typically get most of the jewelry that I sell from online estates. So I'm excited to find a couple of pieces here and we'll see if we see anything else. And they did say the jewelry is either 50 cents or a dollar. So really great prices on it. Little globe keychain. And back here, look at this. What is this? really pretty hummingbird brooch and this one it looks like it's actually named I think this one is a Napier so we will grab that one as well and we will go inside it looks like they have tons of stuff here and I I love these bow front fish tanks this one is $300 gorgeous gorgeous fish tank and if you don't know, we just had baby guinea pigs and we need an extra cage for them. So this little cage here on the bottom is in excellent condition. It says it's $15. So I think I'm going to grab that. All right. <laughs> so we have, we have grabbed the cage and I'm going to move the little stuffed animals back some where the cage was and... I put the cage up front so they would hold it for me and we will look through these tables and see what else we can see. I do look at golf clubs in case I see them but I didn't recognize any of those names. I love this little wood. This container would be great for like a kitchen trash can or something like that but I don't need one right now. Let's see what else we see. Now here, this is a little latch hook rug kit with a little, it looks like a little golden retriever puppy. It looks like everything's in there and it's new. That one was $3. So we are going to grab that one. Latch hook kits still sell pretty well. And down here, Dalton has been very interested in science. He just had his science fair at school last week, and this has got all kinds of experiments for a dollar. So we are going to grab that, and I will tell you he has already done some of the experiments. I brought it home for him, and he absolutely loves it. So definitely use yard sales and thrift stores to get stuff for yourself because... Every time you save, you essentially are earning money. So I was super happy to find that. Now, here is some Pampered Chef little decorator bottles, but they are in use condition. So I'm not sure that the value is there for those. And this is really, really cute. It's a little zipper thermos. I don't see a brand though, but it's got like the different levels for soup and stuff really really cute if I actually worked outside of the home that would be something I think I would possibly consider getting however I'm always at home so 
let's see what else we see. A little mini toaster. Now, I'm going to tell you I passed these up and they are Highmark Italy Bowls. This one was four. They did have the set. I probably should have got these. I will tell you that the set of four is worth about $60. Um, they had a set of three, so it was probably about a $50 set. So that is something I really probably should have picked up, but I passed over it. Now, this caught my eye. Look at this cute little sweater vest. This one is 111 Main. Really cool Halloween graphics. So we are going to grab that. And we'll see what else we see here hanging. This is a London Fog. It almost looks like the Foot Joy symbol on the inside of it. And I didn't get this. And let me know if you think I should have. In my experience, I've done the best with London Fog trench coats. Now here, this is a Rec Sports University of Florida jacket. Nike. And it, I'm not sure, but I think... It is a medium, but it was really hard to read, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that as well. And this one's a vintage jacket, but it was 50th anniversary of CWA. I wasn't sure what that was, so I did leave that one. And here is a Florida Gators hoodie, but that one was pretty faded. So I do try and get clothes. Unless they're vintage, I try and get them in pretty good condition. Look at this cute little octopus. Somebody spent a lot of time hand crocheting this. I think this is the cutest little thing. So we are definitely going to grab that. Probably only worth maybe $12 to $15, but super cute. And I love that it has so many colors on it. All right. Look at this little kettlebell. So Dalton has been working out and... The smallest kettlebell I found before that was an 8 pound, so I'm super excited to find that 5 pound one for Dalton. I think that will be a great weight for him. I'm not sure what these are. The copper bottom, they were marked up. If you know what they are and I should have got these, definitely let me know, but I wasn't familiar with what they were. so. With them being a little higher priced, I did decide to leave those there. Oh, look at this. It is upside down, but check out this Tommy Bahama Melamine Platter. That one is really cute. We will definitely grab that. There's definitely... A big variety here. I love coming to the women's club sales as well as church sales quite a bit. These are international silver serving spoon and fork. Not sure if those were worth picking up. And I didn't even notice that friends thing. Now this is a really cute turvis for a dollar that says life is better on the river. I'm going to grab it. They have this Yeti tumbler. It is priced at 10 though. I'm not really sure. The value might be like 20 25 on that. So the most I would probably want to pay on that is about $5. They've got tons of party light stuff. In my experience, party light is not overly valuable unless it's a good pattern. Look at this vintage nutcracker. This is $5. It's really, really cool. This would be cool on like a bar or something. It's $5, but I am definitely going to grab that because I think that's a really, really neat piece. And let's see what else we can find. Yay! That's actually a redone plate. They were a little bit scratched and faded though, so I did decide to pass those up. 
Now, these are certified international. I didn't grab those. I'm not sure if those had any value or not. I actually forgot to bring my phone into this sale. So I am picking up strictly on memory and my knowledge. I am not looking anything up. Now, these look like Spode Christmas, but they're actually Christmas time brand. So those we will pass on. And then there are a lot of shirts down here. I love finding some good shirts. And I think the clothes here are either 50 cents or a dollar. So here is a really nice Wrangler button up. I think we will go ahead and grab that one. Definitely for 50 cents or a dollar. Wrangler button ups do very, very well for me. And let's see if there are any other shirts down here. That one had a nice print, but I wasn't familiar with the brand. And I do have quite a bit of clothing right now. So trying to stick to brands that I am familiar with. This one's really, really nice. It is a Lake Placid Adernax long sleeve. So I think we will pick that one up and see what else we see on the table. The Wild Hog Canoe Race. That is actually coming up <laughs> here soon in my area and here check this out florida gators nike t-shirt 50 cents or a dollar definitely no question on that one that we are going to pick it up and here's some pillows and bedding i like that pillow but it's just a single so actually going to pass on that one I was kind of on the fence about it but we will skip it this time and here's some boots I'm not sure what brand these are but they had a little bit of wear and I think they had them at ten dollars which isn't a bad price at all if you're going to be using them but without knowing the brand I think I will go ahead and just leave those and we'll see if we see any blankets or anything. Oh, look at this Lake Placid. This, I have done very well with some of the puffy ball beanies in my time. I've sold some for like 40 or $50. And then we'll look through these purses. This is a really cute little puppy dog bag it says stop them in their tracks it's actually new with the tags I'm not familiar with the hail kitchen but I think we will grab that one just because the prices are so low I think that's a great deal and that one I didn't see a brand on either now let's see if we see any more clothing on these tables Back here in the back, I see a gator shirt. And if you don't know, I am a University of Florida fan. I do pick up uh, quite a bit of gator stuff because I like it. So I like selling it. And let's see what brand. These shorts say Iron Flex. I'm not sure if that's the brand. I am not really sure. So those we will leave. But look at these sets of scrubs. For 50 cents or a dollar, these are Cherokee workwear, and we will definitely pick these up. Those shirts on the bottom are not a brand that I'm familiar with, so those I'm probably going to leave. But I think the, the scrub tops we will get, and we'll go ahead and put that shirt back. Let's see if we can stuff all of this in our bag. All right, let's keep looking. Now, here is a Columbia shirt. This says Wild Game Feast. Really, really nice. That's actually an XXL, so I think we'll grab that one. And we'll see if we see. Here's a Ralph Lauren button-up. Again, for 50 cents or a dollar, definitely going to pick it up. Because even if they go for... 15 or 12 dollars that's still a good return 
this one I cannot see the size, but it is a Columbia Florida Gators, and so I've got to have it. I've got so many Columbias, I think I can lay that next to some and try and figure out what size it is. And they had quite a few bathing suits here. If you guys know some good bathing suit brands, drop those down in the comments. Because we do have spring and summer coming up. So I think bathing suits is something as resellers we should definitely be on the lookout for right now. To be listing. Because that is what we'll be selling. Look at this. This is actually a gorgeous full apron. Really, really pretty. I've not seen one this full. But I'm not I'm not sure if it would sell. So I think I'll leave it and we'll see what else we can see on these racks. Look at the flamingo. I think that is really cute. So I think we will get that little flamingo sweater. I'm I'm still debating on that that apron. Now check this out. Look at that top. And this suit is in excellent, excellent condition. And there's another one here, but this one looks like it has some stains. And I probably should have gotten that. So though that suit, the red and white one I just put in my hand, is actually going to be worth close to $200. And the skirt is a wool union made skirt so that was a great find as well and I when I was picking this up really had no idea of the value on that suit I believe Panhandle Slim is the brand I'll throw a comp up here so you guys can see and I only paid I believe two dollars for the whole suit and look here this is a vintage Vanity Fair slip new with the tag absolutely amazing so remember that name guys panhandle slim two dollars into probably close to 200 it actually had the pants with it the shirt amazing amazing find and i should have picked up the blue one even though it had some stains Ooh, and there's thunder it, I don't know if you heard Dalton just whispered it's raining and yeah, it's raining. light lightning struck <laughs> a little bit unexpected. I didn't know it was coming. So here are some foot joys. These are really, really nice. They have them at 10, but they do have a significant amount of wear. So I think I am going to pass those up and we'll look over this jewelry one more time and see if there's anything that I missed that first time. I do recommend at sales like this with so much stuff that you go through it twice because there's just so much that you see that you are going to miss something. It is bound to happen and that's why you should definitely check twice. Oh, look, see, I looked over this twice. So let's grab this and let's go. All right, I got a ton of stuff. I only spent $31, absolutely crazy. I want to tell you guys, a lot of times when I'm recording, I stop recording while I'm looking to find stuff. That one is probably the most realistic. I didn't have my camera off hardly at all. So you actually saw the whole trip. And yeah, I'm super excited. There was a Hawaiian dress I really wanted, but it sold before I got there. So unfortunately didn't get to get that one, but we got a lot of other good stuff. All those clothes were 50 cents, except the jackets and things. And I got a new cage for the baby guinea pig. So let's go ahead and take a look again, except for the cage at everything I got. So really, actually, hold on, without the cage, I only spent $16, how crazy is that? Let's go look. So this skirt, I wanted to show you guys first before we get in the haul. This is Bobby Brooks, made in the USA. It is union made and it is 85% wool and nylon. I don't know, let's see, size 
two, it looks like. But really, really pretty little wool skirt. And let's take a look at the rest of everything. All right, guys. So almost all the clothes were 50 cents, which was crazy. I got this Jack B. Quick, super cute little flamingo vest, Adirondack shirt, Florida Gators, Nike shirt. This 111 Main is really cute with the Halloween nice wrangler button up the lake placid usa some of these i've sold for 40 50 dollars this is a vintage vanity fair with the original tag which is pretty cool this one has wild game feast it's a columbia but it's size xxl so i think that should still sell and then i got a couple of cherokee workwear scrubs for 50 cents that is insane and then here, look at this Pioneer Wear Albuquerque Quality in Action. This is an old suit. Panhandle Slim. There was another one, but it was really stained. But this one, and look at that undershirt. This one should do well. And then this Ralph Lauren button-up. Another Gator shirt. The Tommy Bahama melamine and then the wonder art little puppy kit i got the kettlebell for dalton i got the science for dalton look at this cute little octopus somebody took a long time to crochet that and then that goes with that and then this is a napier hummingbird i got the glass necklace and this really cool pottery necklace as well as the millifiori the Columbia PFG Gators. This one doesn't have a size, but I think we'll put it up to that XXL and try and determine. And then this Hale Kitchens, stop them in their tracks, little puppy dog, and this little vintage nutcracker. I think this is pretty darn cool for five. So all of this, when you take out what I paid for the guinea pig cage, oh, also the Life on the River Turvis, I only paid $16 for all of this, so absolutely insane. Really, really great haul. If you're interested in anything, email me the nurse slipper at yahoo.com and I will see you on the next one.